What up, man? Also, this is your boy Shark 360, and we're back with the vlog number three. I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs until Madden 15 comes out, and I'll still be posting the the vlogs, but maybe not not daily as I am right now. But I'm doing it daily because I got a lot of stuff I could talk to you guys about. You know, a lot of beefs, and I appreciate you guys liking the last video with Eddie Cards, and a lot of you guys liked it so much that I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this series, and I'm gonna be talking about different beefs. I have different beefs with all the commentators that you wanna name. I'll go ahead and just name it, and I'm pretty Pretty sure I got some kind of beef with them or something happened between us and in the past or something like that so like I said man I've been around this business for a long time and I know a lot of stuff man that you guys can that you guys might want to know about your favorite commentary that you don't know or us uh, I've been in conflict with some of them so with that said guys you guys requested some some beefs and for me to talk about some beefs and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about uh, a beef that you guys requested which was uh, the GS uh, beef with Shocker 360 with me. We uh, actually met uh, through Eddie Cards. Uh, I have seen him on the on the Twitter. He's probably seen my videos, and I think he tweeted some of mine and stuff like that. And we we talked on Twitter, and we followed each other. And on Eddie Cards, when I talked to him for the first time, he actually showed me some cool things. Or he was talking about some cool stuff about tagging and keywords and stuff like that on video so you can get more views and stuff like that just strategies you know and that was awesome for me I learned a lot from him I really like the guy you know and it was awesome maybe we start uh, building a little rivalry but not really too serious he's a different type of Madden player than I am and I wasn't really taking him too serious and I think we played in one game Madden 13 and he did uh, he you know actually Madden 12 on Madden 13 and he beat me on Madden 13 and it was a, a good game you know he even uh, said that it was a good game that he didn't know why people were talking bad about me if uh, you know I was really cool with him so we were cool with each other you know but the beef started right about the time that uh, that uh, Eddie Cars and I uh, stopped talking and uh, you know and he actually went uh, all out YouTube commentator he, he quit his job at Walgreens he moved out with his wife to Florida I believe he moved out uh, on his own he went out of, he was living with his mom or something like that and uh, and what happened he stopped posting video around this time last year he stopped posting videos he wasn't posting any videos and I was like man what's going on there's no I Maverick there's no GS what's going on like is this guy's calling it quits you know cuz I seen it happen before where people just call it quits and um, he had a problem you know his wife went to this is not something that I'm making up this is something that he posted out there on a video before explaining his situation so I think his wife uh, went to a hotel and the hotel charged his card and fucking drained his whole bank account to where he went negative on his bank account he had upon his laptop in order to uh, to survive, to get money, man, because he had no money, and every money, piece of money that he would get, it would go into the negative. So what he, happened was that he was asking for people to give him donations, right? So they gave people were giving him donations. I offered. I, I actually contacted GS on Twitter, and he was part of the Madden Mastermind crew at that time. I think he was like a new member of Madden Mastermind crew, and uh, he. I offered him some cash. I told him, dude. If you want me to, I can go ahead and send you some cash through PayPal. You can go ahead and take out your laptop and start doing and keep doing your videos. But uh, he did not accept my offer, and the reason I think he didn't accept my offer was because he. I told him he asked me was why what uh, what do I have to do in return? And I'm like, dude, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is to pay me back whenever you have the money or the cash just pay me back I don't want you to do anything for me I don't want you to post videos or none of that thing just give me the money when you get it back so he did not accept the offer dude got the laptop back I don't know I think somebody lent him money or gave him money I think he was asking for donations because he didn't want to pay the money back I think that's why but anyways uh, he got his laptop back Madden 25 came around around I think it was October somewhere around there Man, it had barely started, and he posted a video of me. Uh, of, of he posted a video uh, of me, uh, like he was he was mocking me. He was making fun of me of the way I talk, of the way uh, he was making fun of the way the videos I was posting. I guess because I was placed putting some Turbo A gaps 
on my video so he decided to do one and I didn't even know what it was until I went to the video and he was just talking mad shit like out of nowhere like dude like where the fuck like that's the shit like why the fuck are you gonna talk shit to me out of nowhere like out of just nowhere after I try to help you out I never even talk shit about you I don't even talk to you GS you know where did you come out and started talking shit about me for no reason and then he I told him they're like wait like like I started talking shit on Twitter after I saw the video I'm like hey, what the fuck dude like like I, I went at him like I didn't with that attitude like what the fuck is going on bro like and and he comes up to me oh so when uh, Mr. Forrest Hump and uh, Mr. Forrest Gump and Miss and Addy Cards come to you like that that's okay but when I do it it's not it's it's not fine and I'm like dude like I don't even talk to those dudes no more this that's what's uh you know that shit pissed me off what you did and and, and we kept going at it on Twitter right we're going back and forth you know you fucking suck you fat piece of shit you know I was just talking mad shit and you know I really feel bad because I should have just uh, instead of going at it on Twitter in public I should have just sent him a private message or maybe we should have just talked it out on the party chat on 360 or something like that but we did go at it we did have a be I was just really pissed off because I wasn't gonna take anybody else starts to start talking smack about me for no reason you know I was gonna talk I was gonna defend myself of course I'm not gonna let him just go uh, across my path like that for no reason you know so what happened on Twitter this is what I told him and I really regret saying this to him because I don't wish this on anybody I know he was going through a hard time and I told him on Twitter uh, GS you should be worrying more about feeding your family than worrying about me uh, setting up a gaps on YouTube so get your ass to work I put like some shit like that so why don't you get your ass to work and get a fucking job or something like that instead of worrying about me so that's what I said at, at that point I kind of felt bad to say that because I know he's he was still struggling he maybe didn't he was he was doing it in all good fun you know but at that point I was like in a serious mode uh, with any without anything that came around Madden you know it was game time it was tournament time it was time to do this I was really busy and I just didn't need any bullshit to come at me like that but uh, after that guys uh, we man and man in battles on the party chat kilo was there uh, from uh, Madden students so he wasn't Madden students anymore at that time but kilo was there and we squashed it man I told up uh, you know GS I'm sorry for for saying what I did say man I didn't mean it I didn't mean to say that I was just upset you know uh, a lot of people been attacking me and I just felt like you were one of those persons that was gonna keep uh, going at me for no reason dog and I really uh, I'm really sorry and apologize for what I did to you uh, GS in return said the same thing you know what uh, maybe I shouldn't have done the video uh, I'm sorry I didn't know you were gonna feel that way and that's what he told me and we squashed the beef there guys it only lasted for like uh, one day we settled it down guys and until this day he's, he's a really good guy he he retweets some time on my, uh, some of my stuff and you know he likes some of my videos and I go back there and sometimes I like some of his videos I like his content I respect him for what he does because I know it's a lot of hard work and I know he also started from the bottom just like I did and I really respect that from him and admire what he does man he, he's a really good guy so like I was saying that was my beef with GS guys we settled it down so we're good you know and uh, hopefully you guys like this video comment so I can go ahead and tell you guys more stories uh, I'll let you guys know as I keep doing this blocks and stuff like that uh, with the beef here that I used to have with other people guys so uh, not only about that but I'll let you guys know what's going on man like today is gonna be a great day man so um, it's gonna be good so Hopefully you guys like this video, this segment, and I'll go ahead and keep posting them. Until later, it's your boy Shock360, man. And this is a real me, man. Hopefully you guys get to know me better. And I'm here to help you guys out and anything you guys may need. So, bye. And keep watching. Subscribe. Like. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prices later it's your boy shock360 hit that like button don't forget comment and subscribe